Hey! All the time, everyone always asks me three questions. The first one being, Cole, why don't you do this on the farm? Why don't you do that on the farm? Why don't you do that? Give me a minute. I'll entertain that question in a second. The second question I get, Cole, why do you always wear the same clothes? Who has time for laundry? Third question. No one talks to me. Who am I kidding? All right, let's get into this. Oh yeah, I remember what the third question is. What do farmers do during the winter? Nothing. Seriously though, what do we do? Each operation is a little bit different from one another, but generally we have our main things we need to do and then our extra things we need to do. So I'm just gonna tell you everything we need to do on ours. <sighs> that sounds really bright. All right, this bin here, full of corn. Empty, full, empty, full, big machine shed, full, that bin, full, bins at another farm, full, bins at another farm, full. Yeah, we have a lot of grain to haul during the winter. That's primarily when we do it. We have about, oh, I need to get my breath back. I ran up these stairs. We have about 300 loads of corn that need to be brought in and about 25 loads of beans. Okay, we'll start with coming in the driveway. We have a base layer of rock down right now. It needs another layer on top. This needs to be seeded in alfalfa. That hole needs fixed. That tree needs to come down. That stump needs to come out. These trees need trimmed. This fence needs pulled out. These down trees need to be taken care of. These stumps need to be removed. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, ocho, six, siete, whatever number's next. This trailer house needs to be cleaned up. So does this. That needs to be cleaned up between all these trees so that there's no more brush on the ground. All of this junk, gone. Yes, there's more. And more, 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 and more. The house needs recited. Hey look, more junk. The porch needs redone. This building needs recited. This stuff needs to be cleaned up. Chop, chop, see ya. I don't know how well y'all can see, but this building needs cleaned out. This tractor needs to get running. This tractor needs to get running. The coons need to be taken care of. More junk. Both those augers down there need to be fixed. This needs to be disconnected and tore down. Needs washed. Also needs washed. Needs to be picked up. Needs to be seeded with alfalfa. Any guesses? That's right. Keeping it. Just kidding. Gone. This needs picked up as well. This will be my project truck soon enough. Stuff I want to keep. That's actually good steel. Sold. Gone. 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 This tractor has a rebuilt 903 Cummins in it with like 50 hours on it. So that engine needs to be pulled out and sold. The rest of the tractor, I don't know. Needs to be gone. In case you're wondering, the transmission went out on this tractor. That's why we don't use it anymore. I think we can... Wax it? Ah, ah! Welcome to the auger graveyard where augers come to die and stay dead. All these augers need to be pulled apart. All the good components taken off of them, put into a good pile. The rest of them, see ya. Burn, baby, burn. Broken. Frame needs to be taken off that good components good components good components good components and then the rest will be gone all of this needs to be cleaned up I want nothing over here fun fact my family built this 16 row planer pretty cool cleaned up this is a 4010 still runs got an oil leak needs to be pulled inside fixed this needs to be escorted off the premises bye 
Bye. Bye. Needs to be put away. Getting my corn stars dirty. I almost forgot. That needs to be washed. That's been there for 20 years. It really needs to come down. This summer we put these on every main pole, but there's also a pole every four feet, so we need more on the four foot stud. Someone stick their finger in there, please, and keep it there. Needs to be worked on. Needs picked up. Needs moved to the other shop. This needs cleaned out. The sauger needs a little work on the end. The flying is getting bad and it needs some stabilization brackets. These are leaking. Needs to be sold. Needs to be moved to the back. Needs to be re-roofed. Picked up. Reorganized. This band needs to be tore down. That's full of corn. Needs to be hauled in. Needs to be cleaned out. Needs to be reorganized. Needs new bushings and seals. The back wall in this building needs to be tinned. Then shelves need to be put up. Then this stuff needs to go on the shelves. Needs to be cleaned out. I've seen worse. This needs picked up. They need to be shot. This needs picked up and spread out in the fields. This needs Viagra. I mean, this needs fixed. This auger right here, we're gonna build a new one from it. That's about 15 feet longer, and it's gonna come out of the hopper bottom to load semis. So this needs out of here and down to our shop to be worked on. This needs cleaned up. That looks safe. There's also one up there that does the same thing. These augers need tore down. All of our fields have trees that need to be cut down in them, rocks that need to be picked up, waterways that need to be repaired, weeds that need to be cut down. Yeah. These groundhogs really need to find their own place to live. Not here. Looks like we have a leaky faucet. This stuff needs to be brought into an auction. Hey! Needs to be sold. And that trailer, the top needs to be redone. I like to paint the whole thing. The scale needs to be hooked up properly. Needs repainted. So do those. Conduit for the fans. Needs finished. This trailer needs new trap doors. Needs cleaned out. Rut row! Needs a new tire. Need to be gone through, serviced, and then put away. Also needs put away once there's room in the big machine shed. How could I almost forget? That building needs to be sided and the roof needs redone. And on this building, the front door needs to be put on. So now I hope you understand why I can only get so much done in a day. There's only one of me, and there's only so much I can do in a day. A lot of these things here, besides hauling corn, are wants. So I have things that are priority, and then I have things I want to do. So I have to do all the priority things first. And a lot of times, those priority things take a lot longer than you want. What should take an hour will often take all day because several things will break and that's just the way it goes. So you gotta address those things and then you don't get to get to the ones. So then things just keep getting put off and then everyone's always like, oh, why don't you get that done? Why don't you get that done? Or why don't you work on this, that? I'd like to, I really would. But you gotta get the priority things done first. Right now, hauling corn, big priority. Cleaning up stuff, yeah, I'd really like to get it done. But I gotta haul in corn, because ultimately corn, hauling in corn, selling it, that's what pays the bills at the end of the day. Picking up the junk, sure it looks nice, and it makes me feel a whole lot better, doesn't pay the bills. And I forgot some things. That's just all the outside stuff I wanted to do. Then we have meetings with bankers, our marketing people, seed salesmen, chemical salesmen, fertilizer salesmen. We go over all our cash flows. We go over our financial statements, things of that nature. We gotta know how the farm's doing on paper. If we're not making money, we're not staying in business. A farm's a business. A lot of people don't realize that, but it is. Just like anything else, our goal is to make a profit. The past five years hasn't really been there, but that's what farming's about. If it was easy, not everyone would do it. I think that's why I like doing it. The real reason why I like farming so much is because it's always something new every day. You have the same set of things that you need to get done throughout the year, but each day is a whole new challenge and you learn so much and I just love that. None of these have been washed. I don't really know if I want to do a super good washing and waxing yet. Might clean out the cabs, but when we're moving grain during the winter time, they're going to get 
plastered and grain dust. So there's really no point on doing a super cleaning yet. Okay, now for the combine, our combine mechanic came down, blasted it off with air hose into the corn head as well, and then he did his inspection on it. So he checks every bearing, greaser, chain, sprocket, anything that has a wear point. He works on about 100 of these machines a year. So he knows things that go wrong commonly and he addresses them you know, way better than we'd be able to do it. So it's worth a couple hundred dollars it takes for him to do that. It saves us from having a lot of downtime when we can address things that we found out ahead of time versus when they break in the field. So if he suggests it needs replaced, we do it. And we just listen to him because he knows what he's talking about. Wow, look how clean that is. Dad actually did a pretty good job with the power washer. Sometimes he can be a little spotty. Now there is one spot on the combine everyone always seems to miss, including myself. And that's the end of the auger. So far my YouTube channel has made me $5,000. And here's why. I haven't made a single dollar off a of video, but I have from recording. There's a grease zerk right here that a few weeks ago, I filmed my dad putting grease into it. I'll play that right now. That makes sense. But my combine mechanic was watching my videos and he noticed that greaser was taking hard and he said that shouldn't take hard, there's something wrong. So he got looking into it more and said that could have been a major, major problem about a $5,000 repair had we not noticed that. So, glad I took a video of that. Overall, on the combine, there wasn't too much that needs replaced. I mean, you have your common belts and chains and sprockets and stuff. Things like that that more commonly wore. But I think the biggest thing was... Right here on this pump, I don't know if you can see that or not. And then honestly, if I'm remembering correctly, it was just a few bushings and bearings. There's a bearing right here. That's not supposed to do that. That's going out, so I'll probably replace the other side as well. Because if one side's going out, the other's probably pretty close. Uh, we were going to repack the wheel bearings on the wheels. And then pull that assembly apart where that grease shirt was taking hard and get that addressed. I think the feeder house chain, which is right here, and that's what brings the grain up into the grain tank. I'm pretty sure we, were, we had a couple paddles that were getting pretty sad shape and the bushings in that chain were pretty bad, so it's getting a lot of wiggle. We're gonna replace that. And then on the rest of the machine, I think is pretty much okay. So that's good news. We shouldn't have much of a repair bell when it comes to the combine. The corn head, on the other hand, is probably going to be about a $10,000 repair bill. But it's from normal wear and tear. It's bound to happen. This week's been kind of a slow week for me on the farm-wise because it's dead week in college. So I've been back studying and haven't been here a whole lot this week and then next week's finals. And then I'm on Christmas break. So then I'll be able to get a lot more stuff done. I just feel like I haven't accomplished anything this week anyway.